Greetings, greetings. I had a little moment, so I said, let me come and talk about something that I'm oftentimes asked about. When people see the signs in the front of the building that says energy clearings or, you know, you see on my service page that I offer energy clearings, a lot of people want to know what are energy clearings. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about energy clearings, kind of how I came across them and my experience with them, and then, you know, what to expect when you're getting an energy clearing and what is an energy clearing so essentially an energy clearing is just that it's something that you do to clear your energy um, we are vibrational energetic beings and everything around us is energy you know everything around us is energy um, from the core of the earth earth to you know that that is above us we're talking about energy and so for us as humans, um, this body, with this body, this physical body, um, we have energy centers throughout our body. A lot of people know about these energy centers through uh, learning about the chakras. Um, and there are seven main chakras that many people mention, although there are well over seven chakras in the ch energy centers in the body. The seven main chakras that many are familiar with these days uh, are from the root chakra which is stemming from the bottom of your feet to the sacral solar heart chakra throat chakra first eye i call it first eye although it's named third eye i call it first eye and then crown chakra so these energy centers are from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head where your soft spot used to be when you was a baby yeah that's the energy center right and energy is flowing through us is going in circles in us these energy centers they flow like wheels in our body and so they flow um, and it radiates this energy within us radiates outside of us you know all around us so you know you can feel people's energy it's no mistake why someone walks in a room you can feel their energy or someone comes near you in or two you can miles tell exit 251 be on the left onto i-85 north Pardon toward greenville <laughs> so um once you I mean, people can walk near you and you can feel their energy. You can feel if someone's energy is low. You can feel if someone's energy is high. Um, a lot of times you're like, I like that person's energy. So, you know, energy is very real. But oftentimes your energy can be um, affected by life, you know, from um, your life experiences to uh, trauma, different traumas, injuries, thoughts, um, all of these things impact your life and so uh, there are times where it's beneficial for you to get your energy cleared it's basically like opening up your energy centers you know making sure your energy is flowing um, for me when I do energy clearance I focus on the chakras but you don't necessarily have to focus on the chakras but essentially that's what you are working with the chakras when you do clear energy and um, so that's really it and there are many ways that you can clear energy one of the most one of the easiest ways that we all have access to is the breath you know when we breathe deeply we're clearing our energy oftentimes when i'm, I'm guiding people through meditation i'll say allow that exit that inhale to expand the chest expand the heart and so when you're focusing on putting the breath or breathing that inhale into the chest and expanding the heart, you will feel a relief. You know, you will feel your energy is relieved. You will feel tension coming out your body. Um, and it's because when we go through certain things, even when we're thinking certain things, when we're having certain conversations, when we're doing any of those things, sometimes it can, we store the stress of it all in our bodies, in our shoulders, of course, that's where a lot of people feel it, but also in our chest, you know, we begin to breathe, breathe shallow, we begin to hold on to uh, tension, and that really, it really like, what what is, what many call it, it's like block chakras, it block, it blocks energy, because energy doesn't stop. So it's not gonna stop your energy, you know, but it could block it. And anything, anytime you see a, when you experience a block in life, it could cause problems in other areas. And so energy clearance really helps so that that energy is flowing. Now, why is it important for your energy to flow? You know, 
it's important for your energy to flow so that you can think clearly <laughs> so that your body can function properly um, so that you can you know uh, sometimes when your chakras are blocked you your your inspiration goes down your motivation goes down you can experience depression a lot of times you can find you can identify if your chakras are blocked or your energy is blocked by how you're behaving oftentimes when individuals are experiencing blocked chakras they are uh, find themselves super controlling super um, uh, anxious um, sad you know those type of things because the energy is not flowing and think about it you know when you're feeling like that if you go and you take a run and you got the breath activated your energy is flowing in the body you feel better or if you go and you do meditation or breath work you feel better so it all is working with and manipulating energy right um, and clearing it just means unblocking it and so for me I came across this notion of energy clearing when I started to practice meditation and breath work when I started to do uh, Reiki with one of the, my favorite Reiki masters, you know, and she began to work on the energy. Uh, when I, I ran into my uh, massage therapist, who is also a <laughs> energy guru, you know, um, she would focus on certain chakras when we did our sessions. Um, so it wasn't just massage, she was also helping to clear energy. So um, that's my introduction to it and it, it, ha it was very helpful. I can so tell the difference. Um, it just, you know, I don't know, like it really ushered me into this space of relaxation, of surrender. You know, um, it helps me in times when, you know, your mind can convince you that, you know, you're stuck or things are not going well or whatever, you know focusing on the breath is my way of doing it you know when i can't go to the reiki specialist or my massage therapist or go and get an energy clearing breath work is my way and so for me when i offer the chakra or the energy clearings i offer two types of energy clearings the full chakra energy clearing and the basic energy clearing um the full chakra energy clearing is where you lay down on the um, massage bed uh, back on your back and I lay out gemstones which help with the energy clearing process because they store energy and those gemstones that I choose neutralize energy as well as uh, they pull out or cleanse energy so I use some cleansing energy and then by the end part I start to use some of the amplifying stones like a citrine and your quartz and those type of things I'll use those at the end um, I also use sound because sound shifts energy. I also guide you through breath work throughout the time. So I'm using your breath. I also use music because thoughts and the mind shifts energy. So I'm playing things that may be stimulating the mind in a certain kind of way where it's shifting your energy. And that's about an hour session. And so as I move you through this process, your energy is clearing and you're going to feel it. Oftentimes, you may, people may um, tear up. Some people may um, <laughs> fall asleep. <laughs> um, you know, emotions can run high, you know, or you just feel at peace, bliss. Like I, I get a lot of people who say, you know, I felt just so blissful. Um, I've had some people um, account to uh, out of body experiences, you know. So, you know, it just, when the energy moves, it just depends on what's happening with you on how your body will respond and how you will respond. Um, the basic clearing is where you sit in a chair and I basically take you through somewhat of that process, just kind of a shorter version or a simplistic or a simpler version of that. Well, I uh, sage you and I didn't mention that I smudge uh, before I start the full chakra clearing as well, but I do the smudging. I'll have you hold a stone in your left hand while I work. I'll just choose a stone from maybe what we chat about before we get started or what, I'm, what I may be feeling of your energy. I'll give you a stone or your goals, whatever your goals are maybe for that clearing. I'll give you a stone and then I use the same thing, breath work, sound, um, music, uh, the gemstone, you know, to clear the energy. And that's about 30 minutes. Um, and that's a good pick me up, you know, so the the full chakra energy clearance a lot of people do that quarterly 
while the uh basic energy clearance people kind of gosh i have some people who come every week you know <laughs> at the end of the week on a saturday they'll come through you know get that energy clearing uh so it's it's really effective it's really effective um and you know i say it is responsible because because we are vibra vibrational beings uh, we are attractive and we impress upon things with our energy. And so we're, we are attracting energy throughout our experience and we're also giving off energy throughout our experience. So it will behoove us to stay balanced, to keep our chakras balanced, to keep our chakras open. What you will find is you will be calmer. You know, you, I mean, your thoughts are clearer. You are more open. It's easier for you to surrender to the process of life. Um, you release the control, you start feeling more safe, secure, like it really helps with that. Um, when you do that in association with a, a spiritual hygiene of your own, you know, if you keep your spiritual hygiene well, you can find that energy clearance can be very powerful for you. So I hope this was helpful. Um, it's not, I can say like, it's not this kind of big mystical thing, although, you know, spirit is involved because spirit is involved in everything it's very scientific you know it really is very scientific um it, it what your spiritual experience with this is up to you and how much you allow yourself to give over because uh, it can be a very spiritual experience for you but if that's not really what you're looking for it's also just a good practice to keep your um energy balanced so it's good for your mental health, it's good for your physical health and your spiritual health, all right? So I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in the service, you can find information about it at the link in my bio or at my website on the service page. Um, go to, just click the link for service or what we offer and hit other service and you will find more information, okay? All right, peace and love, y'all. Keep your energy clear, keep your energy high. Keep your energy good. Good vibes only. <laughs> Peace.